As the holiday season continues to come to a close, it is still ramping up for retailers as we hurry to use our new gift cards. But what do you do if you have one that you don't plan on using? Danielle Serino filed a report earlier and explains how you can cash in. From Apple to Amazon, movies and mall merchants, there are gift cards for just about anything you could want or don't want. I got a gift card to this clothing store that I had no interest in, so I just gave it to my little sister. And re-gifting is a great way to unload those unwanted gift cards. Selling it for cash is a way to re-gift to yourself, and there are several sites which will buy them. Even Sheets Gas and Convenience Stores will exchange them for one of their gift cards. There's a catch, though. These websites buy your cards at less than face value and then resell them. That means you'll get less, sometimes a lot less, than they're worth at the store. How much less? Well, it depends on where you sell them. All right, let's see how much I can sell this $50 Lowe's card for. With Sheets, we got a Sheets gift card worth $42.95. Ray's offered us $42.50, but that's only if someone offers to buy the card. And we could get $35.50 from Cardpool. It's better than nothing. And according to Trey Baj of Gift Card Granny, a site which sells discounted cards, not all cards are created equal. You tend to lose, you know, 10 to 15 percent on, say, a popular gift card. Still, if you do sell one, you can use that cash to buy a discounted card and maybe make out even. If you find a Kohl's gift card that's 14 percent off, you automatically save yourself 14 percent when you shop with that card. Or if you decide to give that card as a gift to someone else, you've automatically saved yourself 14 percent on that person's gift. If that's too time consuming, you could always donate that undesirable card to charity because the holidays are all about giving. That's Danielle Serino reporting, and Danielle says she found that timing is everything. Gift card granny says for some reason, right before Mother's Day, the return rates are higher, which means you can use that cash to let mom know just how much you love her.